good morning students so today we are going to discuss the concept of power factor so in the previous class we have seen about uh, the different types of powers that is uh, true power um, active power which is also called and uh, reactive power and apparent power we have seen the power triangle once again i am reminding you the active power p is equal to vi cos phi reactive power q is equal to vi sin phi and apparent power or complex power is s is equal to um, v into i and we have seen the power triangle this is active power and this is reactive power and adding this it is complex power for example this is phi <coughs> so now we are going to de de define um, the the de de definition of power factor generally power factor is measured uh, represented as cos phi so is nothing but phi is the phase angle so phi is the phase angle so cosine of the angle between voltage and current is called power factor once again i am repeating cosine of the phase angle between voltage and current in a circuit is called the power factor for example consider a simple circuit i have given ac voltage and i am taken a resistance of 10 ohms okay now for example the current flowing here like this so if i draw the waveform for example this is the voltage curve since we are using a purely resistive so the current may be like this so here both current and voltage are starting at the same points here the phase angle is 0 degrees if phase angle is 0 degrees then what about cos 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 which is also called unity power factor or upf unity power factor for example in place of resistance if i am going to take resistance and inductance resistance and inductance for example consider this is a voltage waveform v for example the current waveform starts here and gone like this this is i so there exists angle of phi difference so for example if the voltage is started at zero after five degrees the current waveform is started so there is a five degrees phase shift between voltage and current if i take cos phi then it is power factor pf so cosine of the angle between voltage and current is called the power factor now let's see now let's see that this power factor is defined as cosine of the angle pi between v and i that is power factor is equal to cos phi the power factor is said to be lagging so generally we are going to discuss the power factor is uh, if for example if you write power factor cos phi is equal to 0 0.8 the power factor is always between 0 to 1 that means the minimum value is 0 the maximum value is 1 always between 0 to 1 the power factor lies always between 0 to 1 this is the range of the power factor <coughs> okay now for example if cos phi is equal to 0 0.8 we are going to mention either lag or leading power factor is either lagging or leading what is meant by lagging and what is meant by leading for example in case of phasor if this is a voltage phasor and it is a current phasor there exists a phi angle difference between them if i come anti clockwise here the voltage is leading the current that means the current is lagging behind the voltage here the nature of the power factor is lagging the nature of the power factor is lagging consider another phasor for example this is a voltage waveform and this is the current waveform there exist 5 degrees if you take the same anti clockwise direction here the voltage is lagging behind the current that is the current is leading the current is leading here the nature of the power factor is leading okay generally in rl circuits generally in rl circuits that means where resistance and inductance circuits the nature of the power factor is lagging in rc circuits that is resistor and capacitor circuits 
द नेचर ऑफ द पावर फैक्टर इज लीडिंग जनरली इन इंडक्टर्स द पावर फैक्टर इज लैगिंग इन कैपासीटर्स द पावर फैक्टर इज लीडिंग दैट इज मैं हियर द पावर फैक्टर इज सेट टू बी लैगिंग इफ करंट लैग्स दि वोल्टेज एंड इट इज लीडिंग इफ द करंट लीड्स दि वोल्टेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ करंट इज लैगिंग हियर द पावर फैक्टर इज लैगिंग If power current is leading, then the power factor is leading. So for RL series circuit and inductive reactant circuit, for RL circuit, the current uh, the nature of the power factor is lagging. For RC circuit, the power factor is leading. That is what we are saying. For purely inductive circuit or purely capacitive circuit, for example, if the circuit consisting of only inductor. or or if the circuit consisting of only capacitor that means if the circuit is only inductor the circuit consisting of only inductor if the circuit consisting of only capacitor the phasor diagram is like this this is voltage if it is a purely inductor the angle between voltage and current is 90 degrees for purely inductive circuits that means if the circuit consisting of only inductor there is no capacitor there is no resistor here the current is lagging behind the voltage by 90 degrees similarly purely capacitive circuits this is the phasor diagram so this is a phasor diagram here it is current and here it is voltage for purely capacitive 90 degrees here this is for purely capacitive circuit that means there are no inductors there are no resistors only capacitors here the current is leading the voltage by 90 degrees if angle is 90 degrees then what about it then what about power factor cos phi is equal to cos 90 degrees that is zero that means for a purely inductive circuit power factor is zero lagging for purely capacitive circuit power factor is again zero for purely resistive circuit that means here is a voltage phasor for purely resistive circuit the current is in phase with the voltage here the phase angle is 0 degrees then power factor cos 0 is equal to 1 so for purely resistive circuit power factor 1 that is equal to 1 unity so that is the difference between power factor the power factor is lagging in inductive circuits leading in capacitive circuits in phase in resistive circuits from impedance triangle what do you mean by impedance now we are going to see uh, the term called impedance impedance so impedance is generally represented with letter z impedance is generally represented with letter z in dc circuits up to now we have seen only resistor so what is its resistance r ohms for example we have inductors inductors have also some reactants that reactants is called xl in ohms for example if you take capacitors capacitors also have some reactants that is xc for example if you consider a series rl circuit rl circuit means like this we have connected a voltage source we have connected a resistance we have connected a inductance for example this is r ohms and this is xl ohms where xl means inductive reactance it is called inductive reactance where xc is called capacitive reactance